What's up, guys? Uh, good morning. Uh, last night I was up to about 3.45, I think, last time I looked at my clock, uh, responding to Facebook messages, DMs, emails. I was up at 6.30, getting stuff done. TJ, on the other hand, not sure where he's at. I've called him. I've texted him. No answer. He's about to knock on his door, see what he's doing. There you have it, folks. There you have it. Slept through his alarm. We'll see what the rest of the day holds. Hopefully he can hang. Good job. Yeah. Impressed with your vibe. Give us our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward, right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. This is a coffee hack. This is very important. Look at this line in front of us, TJ. This is ridiculous. This is this line at Starbucks. So instead of waiting in this line, as I wait in this line, I'm gonna do a mobile order on the Starbucks app. Mobile order. All right, so already we're ahead of the game. I have just placed my coffee order, and these people haven't even moved. And I am now going to go pick up my coffee. Let's see what car was back there with that white truck. Skirt through these people, if it will be ever so kind. Thank you, ma'am, excuse me. Good morning. How you doing? Here we go. Let's see if we can make it happen. Keys in here with you so they don't honk at me when I leave. Yeah. Where are we at? <laughs> now we have to find the way, the way truck. Coffee hacks, folks, coffee hacks. All right, red car, black car, gray car, white truck. God, hasn't even gotten started. <laughs> Slowing America down. That's how you do it, folks. Oh yeah, so today, um, we're headed right now to my first meeting. I've got four meetings back to back to back to back to back. So I'll give TJ some good time to, uh, to edit. So I need to throw out a goal for this week. Uh, I never really know what the week's gonna look like until I get into this first meeting and I can kind of gauge um, how the setup has been. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw out a goal um, for the week, which is to sell 50 life insurance policies in three days. So tomorrow, today, tomorrow, and Friday. Uh, sell 50 life insurance policies, that'll be my goal. Obviously, would love to kick off today with a solid like 20 or something like that. Um, to really set it off. So I'm um, headed to the first meeting. I'm actually about to pull up and uh, we will see you guys after that. Goal today was 20 and I'm done with the first meeting of four and I just sold seven. So that was really good. So on to the next one. So we're gonna incorporate a new process or a new thing on the daily vlog. And it is gonna be called The Tip from the whip, or from the whip. Just the tip, from just the whip. <laughs> this will be where I come back to you with some actual tactical, like, implement this, help your business, help your sales. I feel like that's worth going back to the studio for. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm looking for an excuse right now. I will, <laughs> I will, drop, I will drop some bars on paper tonight on a tip from the web and we can have just like a little like two like two lines two, two or three or four lines. lines yeah that would be funny so four more policies uh in that meeting so i'm at 11 so far the goal for today was 20 um and i'm not even halfway through you know i'm a salesperson 
through and through. So I want to be able to provide like some some tactical um, tips and some things that you guys can use that are in sales because I think it would be uh, it'd be silly for me not to do that. And so one of those things I want to talk about is momentum. Yes. From the whip. Anytime that you are in your sales process, whether you're making phone calls, you're knocking on doors, you're walking into businesses, whatever that may be, when you're having a good streak, like this morning I'm having a good streak. I've seen um, probably 12 people and I've sold 11 life insurance policies so far today. The average life insurance agent doesn't do that in a week. Uh, whenever you are on that type of streak, do not stop. I can remember as a financial advisor at times when I'd be calling and selling uh, bonds or, or, or mutual, you know, we had this like a municipal, a tax-free municipal bond that, that came into inventory and, and I was just calling, 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 kind of dialing for dollars. When I got on those streaks, I would literally call till 10 o'clock at night because what I know is those streaks don't happen all the time and when you catch that momentum it's almost like you feel invincible you feel like no one would ever say no to you so you have to take advantage of that momentum and take advantage of that particular mood that you're in in that day that is making it to where other people are saying yes and you have to take full advantage and go all in on it so there would be times where literally I'd be out knocking on doors and for whatever reason my personality at that time was just clicking with people and I would you know the sun would go down and I would stay out there knocking on doors um, until I couldn't move um, so always use your momentum in your favor um, because it's just like anything with momentum it takes a while to get it but once it once you've got it do not stop it it is the most powerful tool you can use in sales all right so what just happened so here's a good little lesson here so I just met with four people and only sold one life insurance policy, whereas so far today before that meeting, I'd met with 12 and sold 11. So I met 12 life, life insurance policies sold so far today, but that's a very, very like short term example, but it's a very important lesson that I want to get out there that sometimes people just don't buy. Like sometimes people just don't say yes. Like it doesn't mean that you did anything wrong. So I gave the exact same presentation, the exact same like word for word conversation one on one with these people in one out of four just bought versus 11 out of 12. It's not always what you said or what you did. Sometimes it's just the people that you were meeting with. So what you're looking for is patterns. The patterns are over the course of weeks, over the course of a couple of months, over the course of a number of meetings where you can see an actual trend in something happening and then go relook at it. But the last thing that you want to do is have one week where you're great, next week not so great, and then start switching things up. It's the law of averages. If you keep doing the right things over a long period of time, the numbers will work itself out. So we're one for four there, 11 for 12 earlier. I could go one for the next 10, but I know because what I'm saying is the right thing that I'm supposed to be saying that over time of this, these three days that I'm down here in Georgia, my averages will average out to my normal conversion ratio and it'll all work out in the end. Uh, so don't freak out when you have a bad day or a bad week or even a bad month. It may not be you, it may just be them. Didn't an alarm go off in the middle of the... There was a tornado alarm, yeah. <laughs> it, was, uh, it was like a tornado warning test or whatever. It was loud as crap. So how'd it go? Good man. Uh, I sold a few, but I sold the ones that I sold were big policies. Your big policies, nice. Mm -hmm. So what are we at now? I don't know. I had to kind of. I think I'm at like. Uh, so was at twelve before. I think I'm at like six, sixteen. Sixteen. So four more for my goal for the day. Um, I start instituting the tips from the whip. Tip from the whip. As part of like a little segment within some of the uh, daily vlogs. So, I was like, oh, I know. We need to go back into the recording studio and we need to record another hit. But here's the thing, I want this to be like my alter ego. So you know how Gary V has uh, Airport Gary? That's what V said. So I need this alter ego, I need like a rap name. So here's where I need your feedback. I want you to comment on the rap name for me. Like what would my rap name be? I'm gonna pick one of them and that's gonna be my rap name and it's gonna be used in the vlog and, and 
and it'll be funny for, uh, for you to be able to tell people that, hey, I came up with that name. So please comment below. It's, but hopefully, if you're watching this in the replay, I need some help. I need to know what my rapper name should be. Yeah. And uh, I'll come back on later tonight and let you know what we decide. But we're going back in the studio. Like, wait, wait. like my goal is to provide value for you to change. <laughs> so, so instead of two chains, it's two change. <laughs> God, that's terrible. <laughs> All right. That's <laughs> terrible. All right, so I uh, just got that last meeting um, with three people, so one policy there. So I uh, wasn't exactly excited about that, but that's all right. Uh, puts us at 17 for the day. Um, only three more to go to hit my goal for today. This is uh, this is where it's going to get interesting in the footage because at the end of the day, like this is what I do. Like I, I drive around and meet with people and sell a ton of life insurance. There's nothing glamorous about it, but I think that is the important thing. We were talking about balance and what, what were you about to say? So this is like one of the biggest things I talk about, like the fact that. The only time, the only way people talk about balance is in regards to taking away from something. So in order to create work-life balance, I have to work less. What about be at home more? <laughs> like what about do more? So there's two ways to balance a scale, right? So if I'm a scale and I get off balance, if I put more over here, it'll balance it. Well, why is the way that the world talks about balance and taking away from over there to balance it? So if you want to go all in, so if you if you need to be with your wife and kids more, then by all means, be with your wife and kids more. That doesn't mean you need to work less. It may mean that you need to sleep less. It may need, mean that you need to quit going to happy hour every Thursday or quit being in the intramural softball league and the dart league and the poker club and the this and this and that and that and all this other stuff but the the thought that you have to work less in order to be at home more is just your excuse for your lack of effort what's going on everyone casey adams here welcome to the rise of the young podcast today episode 23 we have a good friend of mine tyler harris the absolute number one key is consistency that's it I can't tell you how many conversations I've had with people that have said, hey man, I wanna grow my personal brand. I wanna, I wanna build this page up. Like, what should I do? Give me some inside tips, hacks, this, this. They're looking for these little tricks and little um, you know, shortcuts to success. And I'll tell them, I'm like, look, post three to four times a day for seven days straight, and then let's talk about kind of the next level. And they can't do it. Happiness is not created by success. Success is created by happiness. And if you're doing something that you enjoy, that's, I mean, that's how you win. Like that's, that's, that's how you win this game called life. All right guys, so it is, it's 10.55 p.m. My um, first meeting started at 9 a.m. last night. I finished answering DMs, Facebook messages, emails at, I think it's 3.45. I woke up at 6.30, back on my computer. Meeting started at 9 a.m., had one 15 minute break. Last meeting started at um, six, ended at like seven, went straight, rushed back to the hotel. TJ and I finished this editing, which took like three hours, two and a half hours. Um, <laughs> I started editing, editing that at 9 a.m. when we got in yeah, the car. Yeah, so he's been editing all day. So like, <laughs> TJ has literally been sitting in my car all day long. When I've gone from meeting to meeting to meeting, I go in and he sits in my car and he's been just on his computer editing all day long. So when we got back, he had got like, basically like the final draft kind of deal. So that happened for like three hours. And so we literally got it loaded at 10, like 15 p.m. Second it got done, we're like, oh, all right. Wait, crap, all right, now I gotta post the, the thumbnail to uh, Instagram, now I gotta post it on YouTube, and I gotta link it in the bio. And they're like, oh, all right. Crap, now we gotta um, podcast. I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like the average person would say like, overwhelming, but I'm thinking like overwhelmingly just positive, like overwhelmingly 
inspired, overwhelmingly optimistic for, for what's coming. Like this is day three. This is like episode three. Episode 100, I, I can't even, like I don't even have words. To be able to operate at this level, it's, it's insanity. Like it really, really is. Like this is crazy, but I won't be able to sleep tonight. Like there's no chance. Like I won't be able to sleep tonight because I'll be so excited for what's coming, coming tomorrow. And that, like that is what you're looking for. Like that's fulfillment. All right, so we just created the uh, Facebook group, Breadwinners. And uh, it's so funny. I invited just a handful of people so far. And look at these, look at these gifts. It's so funny. Tiffany Strug said, hallelujah. We got Dylan with the T-Swift suck it. We got the Triple H, yes. <laughs> we made it, Sylvania. So this group is gonna be super important, guys. I cannot tell you how much I am going to pour into this group because this group is gonna be providing me value by sharing the, the vlog out. So I will do everything in my power to pour that back in and then some.